Hey, it's Jay, and we're back with another video. Today, I decided to start redesigning New Crest. I've seen it on Freezer Bunny's channel, and I think that's such a cool idea, so we're starting to do that. Our first uh, household is Danica Brewer and her Yorkshire puppy. Yorkshire Terrier puppy? You know what I mean. Um... Yeah, so I looked at a couple of inspiration pictures and I found this really, really cute, tiny cottage that I uh, want to recreate. There's three neighborhoods, right? In Newcrest, we have um, the Llama Lagoon uh, neighborhood or, you know what I mean, like um area. <laughs> Um, then we have, that was Ridgeline Drive and Bridgeview on the top. And I kind of uh, want to put her into Bridgeview because I want to put community lots into Ridgeline Drive and then kind of like more like fancy houses into Llama Lagoon. And this lot, the Comfy Cubby, is going to be the one that we're going to work on today where we're going to build her little tiny cottage on. Okay, so I apologize for it, everything being a little choppy because I have to admit like my game footage recently has been super weirdly laggy, like the game itself isn't laggy but the footage is, which is really weird. I haven't figured out a way to to um, fix that yet, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, see how, what I can do about that because I also started... Um, recording the 100 baby challenge and I could not use any of the footage I shot like or I recorded rather like I think three hours worth of footage and I just couldn't use any of it because it so looked super choppy and laggy so I have to figure out what to do with that which is why this is the first uh, new video that's going to be uploaded because I've been trying to uh, upload some gameplay and it hasn't really worked out yet Okay, so again, I had a reference picture that I found. Um, it's a reference picture that you see on the thumbnail. It's a very, very cute little uh, cottage um, and like cottage looking thing. I don't even know if you would call that a cottage, but it, it's super, super cute. And it's exactly what I was looking for with her and her tiny little dog. Now the... Um, kind of story that I have in my head about her or you know is that she um she used to be like a like a housewife right housewife with a uh, husband and children and now she's widowed her kids are out of the house the husband died I don't know if I'm even making sense anymore it's like two in the morning I'm so sorry okay anyway <laughs> She's at home alone um, and she decided to sell the big house and, you know, give the money to give most of the money to her children and kind of pursue her dreams. So she's an entertainer now. She always wanted to get on stage. She never dared to do it when she was married. So now she's she's doing it right now. And also so that she's not alone, she bought herself a puppy. So in my head, she's this... Um, this very nice, sweet lady uh, that has decided to take her life into her own hands and stop living for everybody else and start living for herself. That's the kind of mindset that I had when I built this. Um, this is a very, like, tiny, tiny cot, like, a very, very tiny house. Um, very, like, small and cluttered and full but not super, super cluttered. I actually have to admit when I did decorate, I I always felt like there was something missing, like more clutter could have gone there, but I didn't. I also didn't want to use too many packs. I need to check how many packs I actually used. I hope not too many, <laughs> um, but yeah, I tried to, to stay uh, with um, Get Together, because of like the style of the house, the get together and cats and dogs. But there are obviously going to be little items here and there that I used from other packs. Now, you're going to see me struggle with this red shelf a lot. 
because this is the first time I've used it. I had no idea. I've, I had seen other people use it in like speed builds, but I had no idea how to use it myself until I checked and it says how to use it. And I just, I never actually read that description fully. Um, but yeah, here's where I try to built the bedroom and I was like, mm, that's way too small for me. <laughs> I need to put more, more space in there. And it kind of made for interesting layout because I had to like shift things around for, um, that little, that little, um, what is that called again? Oh gosh, I can't English anymore. <laughs> Why can't I English? Oh, where, like where her clothing is. Oh gosh. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I just had to make this little nook but that worked out really well because I needed space for the fridge anyway and that's where the the fridge really fit nicely into it yeah it's there's there's not much going on uh when it comes to like extraordinary stuff uh I always have struggled with furnishing and decorating bathrooms like bathrooms are my least favorite thing to decorate it's bathrooms and landscaping that I hate doing um I I just I just hate it uh so there are gonna be some things that are just not perfect right away I think I think once I'm done with this voiceover Oh gosh. Okay. So when I was editing this, I saw a couple of things that bothered me and I'm going to jump into gameplay after all of this is done and I'm going to fix some of the things that I've, I've seen just now while rewatching the footage. Uh, so I'll, I'll add an additional clip in the back where I tweak all of those things. Now here you see me kind of trying to clutter the space because we have everything we, or what I think we need, um, but the, some of the walls are really blank, and it's just, it didn't feel as cluttered as, like, what I, gosh, it sounds bad, but an old lady house like this would look like, and I would kind of think that a house like that would be, like, full of, like, little, like, knickknacks and stuff, but, like, the kind of things that I was picturing The Sims doesn't have, or doesn't have yet, so I try to do my best with the things um, I had in my availability, available to me, whatever the right way to say that is. Yeah, so this is me trying to desperately, desperately clutter up the space and realizing that there's not much that I can do at this point. Um, yeah. I left uh, some of the windows up to up until the end specifically from the back side because um usually I do like the outside of the the house first and then I do the layout so when I put windows down sometimes they don't really necessarily work and I have to shift them around anyway so I'd much rather just do the front like the, where most of the windows are actually seen and then do everything on the inside and then in like one of the last steps add some additional uh, windows for lighting purposes. Yeah. Again, trying to clutter up the space, trying to make it look more full and lived in. Um, what I also need to keep an eye on at this point is my budget because I had promised myself that at least for like the normal people I want to move into Newcrest I was going to stay inside of their starter home or their starter budget. Now as I said before Llama Lagoon um, is going to be like the area that I want a little more fancy people to live or like more fancy houses to be um, and I'm going to work my way up to that where um I will kind of hopefully um, get the time and the energy and the inspiration to big, to build like bigger mansion type houses. Um, and there I'm going to definitely like 
exceed the starter home budget but with her I really wanted to do that now do you see that corner that white corner thing I have no idea what that was and that was there from the very get-go the moment I placed those walls if any of you know what that is please leave it in the comments and explain to me why that happened I have no idea um it's weird I try to cover it with like foliage and like bushes and stuff and I mean I tried my best um yeah and in the in the original photo there's like like little planter pots in front of there uh, I tried to find something that was going to like clutter up the space in the same way, but I couldn't really make that work for me. Now, um, what I did in the back and what I'm doing here is I'm giving her like an area to garden and kind of pulling all the stone backwards to kind of make it one cohesive, um, one cohesive backyard, if you will. All right, so we're getting close to the screenshots. I'm gonna add two more trees in the back to make it look a little more filled up, and then we'll look at the screenshots. Okay, here we are. I think it worked out really nicely, I think. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to jump into gameplay really quickly and record me fixing some stuff and then I'll add that right here. Okay, so I'm going in, I'm removing this little pillar, I'm adjusting some of the curtains, everything that was shifted upwards, and uh, yeah, I because the pillar is gone now, <clears throat> I wanted to add something in the background um, to kind of fill up the backyard space. But that's basically it. This is our cute little uh, tiny cottage that I built for Danica Brewer and her little Yorkshire Terrier. And uh, I'm very quickly going to show you how it looks like when you play it. I personally don't like those like column pillar things in my actual gameplay. They look cute, but they're usually kind of like in the way when I want to see stuff. Um, but yeah. It's a really cute, quaint little place where she can knit and take care of her little doggy and do some gardening and uh, fulfill her dream of being an entertainer. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe, and then we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye, guys.